In the previous videos, our focus was on summarized data and events to capture an overview of the data while sampling as infrequently as possible. Some analyses, however, require high-resolution data that hasn't been summarized. In our Pi system, we have event frames that have been configured to capture when each wind turbine is running. In this video, we are going to create another event view, and our goal is to publish high-resolution data at intervals of five minutes while each wind turbine is running. This data will be then used uh, to get an overview of the operating characteristics of each wind turbine. Let's do it. Let's begin by navigating to the Pi Integrator web page. And now from the home screen, click on Create Event View. Let's name the view Turbine Running Data. Now click to create a new shape and then choose the server PySRV01 and database wind generation. We can filter the list of event frames by typing in generating in the filter box. Okay, now let's expand our event in the left pane to show the referenced element and then add it into the search shape. Let's also add some attributes to our search shape. We will add capacity factor, efficiency, power, wind speed, and yaw angle. To make the search shape more flexible, let's uh, configure the shape so that both the event and the element are matched using templates instead of the names. You can do it by clicking on the pencil icon. The template name for the generating event is running. Now we can click on Next to go to the Modify View page. For consistency with the other views that we created in previous videos, let's set the start time to 1 minus 1 month and then click Apply. The Pi Integrator for Business Analytics also allows to filter the data before it is published. In our case, we want to exclude the rows with very low power values. So let's click on Edit Row Filters to open the options for adding a new row filter and choose Numeric. In the configuration window, let's set the condition for power and then click Save Numeric Row Filter. Keep in mind that it might be needed to adjust the filter as the data can be different between the environments. So if no rows are returned, then just try a less restrictive filter. Now we can see that the filter condition that we defined appears in the row filters window. Let's click on close. Now we want to configure our event view to publish sample data. To do this, Let's click on the Edit Value Mode button and select to sample values every five minutes. The view will now publish data at five minute intervals while the event is active. Now let's go ahead and remove the event frame duration column as it will not be needed. To do this, simply click on the column and select Remove Column from the Column Details menu on the right. Okay, so now let's click Next to go to the Publish page. 
Let's set the target to SQL Server and run on a schedule with Recure every five minutes. Now we can publish our view. This concludes the video on creating the Pi Integrator event view for the turbine running data. To achieve this view, we first created a new event view. Then we added a row filter for the power attribute. Later on, we configure the event view to publish sample data. And at the end, we set up the publishing schedule. Thanks for watching.